What is going on, beautiful people? And welcome to another episode of The Narcissist Code. I'm your favorite self-aware narcissist, Mr. Lee Hammett, better known as Mental Illness across all social media platforms. If this is your first time seeing my face or hearing my voice, I'm a diagnosed narcissist, and I use all my platforms on social media to raise awareness for NPD, get more people into therapy, and also validate the victims and survivors of said disorder. Today's episode is going to be about how the longer you stay in a relationship with a narcissist, the longer you stay in a toxic relationship, the more likely you are to be building this person up for the next relationship. You just are. That's the, <clears throat> what I mean by the long, building, them up, building them up for someone else is honestly pretty simple. I, most people know that when you in a relationship with a narcissistic person or they break up with you, discard you or whatever, and they move on to someone else, they are typically going to give the next person everything that you've ever asked for. Everything that you've been begging and pleading for, they're going to give that next person all of that stuff. They just are. That's just the crux of it right there. And a lot of people don't realize that the longer you stay in a relationship with this person, the more likely you are building it up for someone else. The more you tolerate, the more you forgive this person, the more you do all the things that the more boundaries that you drop, the more forgiveness and retribution, I mean, not retribution, re re reconciliation, the more of everything that, everything that you do that you know you shouldn't be doing, the, th the things that go against your morals, the things that you, the things that probably, you, you might, you maybe used to tell your friends and things like that. Like, hey, look, I would never, ever forgive a person for doing this. I would never go back to somebody who's doing this. You're dropping all of that stuff and going back to the person and doing exactly what you said you wouldn't do. The more things that you give up, the more of your sanity, the more of your love, the more of your care, affection you give up to this person and, and get nothing in return, but more heartbreak and more, more cheating, more lying, more manipulation, the more likely you are building up, building them up for someone else. You're giving this person because narcissistic people will emotionally discard you sometimes way before they physically discard you. They just will. A narcissistic person will absolutely emotionally get rid of you before they physically discard you. <clears throat> and when they, when, once the emotional discard happens, once they stop, once they start, like once they, once the emotional discard happens. And they disconnect from you. There's no more love. There's no more care. There's no more affection or anything like that. They're done with you. I know people are going to be like, wait a minute. No, that's not how it works, Lee. They, you can't emotionally discourse. Yes, they are done with you. They will physically still live in the same house, still do a lot of the same things with you, but they won't be there for you. And the more, the longer you stay in that toxic situation, I know a lot of people will just say, I'm st I stay for the, you know, I stay for the kids. I stay for this. I stay for that. I'm doing a whole series on why people stay on my YouTube channel. But a lot of people, <clears throat> having a, a reason or some kind of excuse as to why they stayed so long. The trauma bond, uh, kids, money, guilt, you know, love, whatever. The longer you do that, though, the more you building this person up for someone else. Because if they are emotionally disconnected from you, if they emotionally discard you, they're typically emotionally connecting to someone else. Typically, they're emotionally preparing to physically leave you. And once that happens, they're done. They might keep you on the hook. They might not. They probably won't give you any type of closure. They'll blame you for everything and have you keep, keep and keep you on the hook for years. Ye Yo, years, years, years. And you can tell when people are emotionally disconnected from you because y'all will try harder to reestablish the emotional connection because some people don't want to give up. I don't want to give up on this person. So I'm going to work harder. I'm going to try harder. I'm going to love more. I'm going to sacrifice more of myself. I'm going to forgive more. I'm going to go to church and pray more. You keep going to church and praying more. And you'll end up with your heart broken anyway. I feel like so many people get caught up in that right there. That's going to be in a whole nother video right there, y'all. How people just like, I'm going to pray on it. You're going to pray on it, P-R-A-Y. And the narcissist is going to pray on it, P-R-E-Y. While you're praying, they're praying on you and your emotional vulnerability, your uh, emotional dissatisfaction, your physical uh, dissatisfaction, your overall vulnerability, your forgiveness, your guilt, your empathy. They're going to be praying, P-R-E-Y-I-N-G, on all of that. <clears throat> and the stuff that they learn from you, they're going to do for the next person. They just are. I know, I know, I know, I already know what people are going to say. Well, Lee... I, most people would do that anyway, right? You have to learn from your errors. You learn from your mistakes. You, be, you become better for the next person, right? I'm not a narcissist, and I want to be better for the next person. But, but yes, everybody who gives the next person everything that the old person asks for is not a narcissist. It's intent that matters. It's the intention behind it that matters. If your intent 
is to hurt your old person by giving the new person everything that they ask for, you are toxic as hell. And as you know, you, you just stayed in a relationship, a loveless relationship for an extended period of time for your own self. Goodness. Yes, you are toxic. You, I'm not saying you're a narcissist. I'm saying you are toxic AF. Just understand that part right there. Because a lot of people get caught up in these situations and don't know how to react, don't know how to act, don't know how to do more, be more, see more. You know what I mean? I just tell people, once they emotionally disconnect from you, narcissists are going to love bomb you. And so many of y'all want to get back to the beginning of the relationship. Y'all, people grow and change. You probably, Even in a non-narcissistic relationship, you might not ever get back to the beginning of relationships. You're not the same person you were two years ago, 10 years ago, 20 years ago. Why are you expecting this person to be the same person they were 20 years ago? Especially if they get nothing but progressively worse. If you don't even know, if you feel like you don't know this person anymore, you don't know them. Their really, their true colors are really coming out. You're getting to know the real them. You know, if because at the, at the beginning when a narcissist is love bombing you, they're putting their best foot forward. They're actually putting somebody else's best foot forward because they're not doing the things that they really really want to do. They're doing the things that they they feel like will make you happy. But a lot of times, that stuff that they're doing at the beginning of the relationship is not what they really be, want to be doing. They want to make you happy, yes, but there's not a lot of the stuff they, that is not what they want to be doing. They do the stuff to make you happy. That's why they act, that's why they try to learn everything about you to become everything that you want. So you fall in, essentially you fall in love with yourself. And when the narcissist starts becoming who they really are, you might fall out of love with them, and they might fall out of love with you. I, 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 I talk about it like it's, it's like a light switch, y'all. Once the narcissistic light goes off, once that connection dissipates and dims and goes away, y'all, I'm just like. Some of the people don't want to hear it, but that's how it is. Y'all will say an emo a loveless relationship for an extended period of time, trying to get back to the beginning, while they are take typically built getting ready to build with someone else. And sometimes the narcissistic person <clears throat> will make you be the one to discard them. They will treat you so badly. This, there's another video coming soon, y'all. They will treat you so badly. They will dis emotionally disconnect from you. They will just physically disconnect from you. They'll just they'll just treat you. They'll just really emotionally, physically, mentally abuse you to the point where you break up with them. You're the one who do, who breaks breaks up with them, and it gives them the go ahead to be with someone else. It just does. They, yeah, you will literally break up with them, and it gives them the go ahead. Like, okay, she broke up with me, or he broke up with me. They broke up with me, so I can move on quickly. I can go. I have the excuse now. Y'all, like, y'all expect me to sit around and wait for them to be happy? No, it doesn't work that way. I'm not going to sit around and wait. I'm going to make myself happy. That's what I'm going to do. So this is this this is the crux of it right here, y'all. So imagine you staying in a toxic relationship way longer than you're supposed to be, and that person takes everything that they learn from you and does with somebody else, and you. And that's why I tell I call it I call it the narcissistic TV, y'all. When you're watching somebody else on social media, when you're watching that narcissist or toxic person on social media, like I call it the narcissistic TV. Turn off the TV because if you're watching them on social media, that means that they are typically, it means that they're going to be, it's a show. It's like reality TV. The narcissistic person acts like they're on a damn TV show and they will literally be doing all this stuff for you, doing all this stuff just to make it seem like they're happy with the new person. Because typically in their minds, they are, y'all. In the narcissist's mind, they are happier with the new person because they're em they've emotionally disconnected from you where they feel like you can't make them happy anymore. So they feel like this next person is going to be the one to make them happy. You know what I mean? It just, it just is. So I just tell a lot of people, I, tell, I say this all the time, y'all. You could very well be building them up for someone else. The longer you stay in an unhappy relationship where you're clearly unhappy, where you're clearly unhappy, unsatisfied, unfulfilled, the longer you stay in there, the more likely you are building it up for someone else. And they're going to take everything that, that you want and give it to the next person. And it's going to make y'all mad as hell. I know it is. And y'all going to be super mad. You're going to be super angry. And then you're going to, I'm telling you, you're going to blame them. You're absolutely going to blame them. And they're going to be like, oh, I, I, I didn't do this. I, you knew what I was. You should have known what it was. So if they disconnect from you, take the steps and pre precautions to start disconnecting from them because if you don't, I'm telling you, they're gonna leave you high and dry. When you're at a peak moment in your life, they're gonna leave you. When you're getting ready, when you're getting ready to graduate from college, when you're getting ready to, um, when you got a promotion, when you're on your birthday, or Christmas or something like that, a, hol a holiday, they're going to break up with you on a holiday or something so you, so it, ruin, it makes it even worse. You know what I mean? So y'all have to stay strong. You really, really have to, y'all. 
because you don't want to build them up for someone else. You don't want to give them the foundational blocks to build with someone else. Because that's what I'm just telling you. I know how the mind works. I know it's going to tear people to pieces. So y'all have to stay strong, stay, you know, stay empowered and keep it, keep it strength. Anyways, y'all, let me hop off this thing. It's Sunday. I have to hear it ahead to Greensboro, North Carolina. Meet up coming soon, y'all. Meet up in Virginia Beach, Virginia. Coming soon, June 12th. So prepare. Come out there and hang out, y'all. Um, like and subscribe for more. Thank you for tuning in. Mental Illness is out. Peace.